Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. It's my pleasure to here I uh, have this presentation about uh, Chinese Asian Timber Arch Bridges. Uh, but today is a big day in China. Uh, uh, so I use the red color uh, as a background. Yeah, I hope this color can give you good wish and happiness in 2012. Yeah. Uh, I want to say Happy Chinese New Year. Uh, and now I will speak in my presentation. Yeah, maybe you have gone through a lot of what kind of the stone arch bridge in the past time. Uh, I know this garden, there is one stone arch bridge at least. Uh, but maybe you never go through the Chinese pinball arch bridge. Never heard? Yeah. 20 years ago, I am same situation. Yeah. The first part, I will introduce a very famous painting in Song Dynasty, Qingming Festival on the river. Uh, if you are an art of a painter, you, are, you know some Chinese uh, uh, the painting history, maybe you know this famous painting. And uh, in this painting, uh, there is a ripple bridge in the middle of the painting. It's a very, very uh, important situation in the painting. And uh, why the disappearance of the ribbon bridge? This is the second part. And the rebuilding of the ribbon bridge in Shanghai in 11 years ago, uh, there are several American guys to rebuilding this ribbon bridge. Why they did it? This is the third part. Uh, the discovery of the timber art bridge in China 30 years ago. And now this is the Song Dynasty, the famous painting, Qingming Festival on the River. Maybe someone know it. Yeah, in the middle, the red circle, this is a Kimbo Arch Bridge. Uh, we can look at details. Yeah. You can find some details. The Kimbo and two double with the crew. And the wood form the construction. This bridge is over the Bianghe River, Kaifeng City, uh, almost uh, 900 years ago in Beisong Dynasty. Uh, and now is Kaifeng City, Hulan Province, built in 11th century. This bridge, uh, according to the experts' uh, side, is 28.2 meters long and uh, 5.1 meters wide. Left span is 19.5 meters. But uh, in 1126, Bianjing was occupied, occupied by the troops of Jing Kingdom. Ning'an and now Hangzhou city become the new capital of the South Song Dynasty. Beijing was fading. Ribbon Bridge disappeared. This type of bridge hasn't existed in any other part of the world. Till 1999, in Jinzhe Town, 16 kilometers west of Shanghai, the Lova TV station of the U.S., they want to rebuild the Ribbon Bridge. Tang Huan Chen is an 
expert of Chinese Asian fridge. Tom Titterton is my friend. He is a professor in uh, Lehigh University in America. And uh, Michael, Pastor, maybe the two guys come from MIT. Is also a uh, they are the civil engineers. And the building of River Bridge is 15 long and 3.6 meters wide. This bridge. In Jinzhe Water Town, it's close Shanghai. The other angle view. The structure of River Bridge. My growth to, to finish the next one. And the site, uh, 11 years, maybe 12 years ago, River Bridge model, the construction site. The Lova TV station want to film shooting of the Bian Shui River Bridge, so they uh, they built it. It took the uh, one million US dollar <laughs> for this uh, movie. <laughs> they use the hosting, the manual hosting, to lift the timber. I will see they want to restore the ancient time to how to make the bridge. The detail, there's a two double timber uh, as a painting, like the painting. Yeah, this arch bridge uh, is constructed by Lehigh University teachers and students uh, last year. I was the only one Chinese expert involved in this case. The river bridge completion ceremony and the open ceremony in Lehigh, 20s, 80s, May 2011. I, I worked for the bridge two days. <laughs> That's me. And uh, this guy is a professor is a, uh, of Lehigh Architecture Department. Uh, who is the organizer of this project. And uh, this guy is a counter. Uh, I forgot his name. But uh, he involved the uh, just uh, bridge 11 years ago. This guy is a counter, is an American counter. But uh, this bridge is an American, according to these so seeking how to make of the Chinese bridge, uh, they did it, but let uh, uh, Chinese war. It's, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, the discovery of the Timbo Arch Bridge in 1980s, Chinese research, researchers found the ancient Timbo Arch Bridge in South Zhejiang and the North Fujian province. There were 11 bridges recorded in the book. Technology history of Chinese Asian Bridge, edited by Mao Yi Sen, is a very famous uh, bridge expert, expert in China, and was published uh, in 1986. Yeah, this is a map of the distribution of the Timbo Arch Bridge. Uh, this part is Zhejiang Province, this part is uh, Fujian Province. And uh, the distribution of the timber art bridge is the red part, this one. This part is the southeast of China. Yeah, there are many counties. Qintian County, Jinling County. There are 15 Arch bridge is in Jinling County. Taishan County is there, there is exist six bridges. Fudin. 
and Qing Yuan, Shaolin. This part is Zhejiang province, and this part is Fujian province. Uh, Institute, maybe there are more than 100 Kimball Archbridge exist today. But uh, this number is changing every year. Some old one will be destroyed by the fire, by the floor, but uh, some new one will, will be constructed. Example of the Timbo Arch Covered Bridge is the oldest one, newest one, and the longest bridge. And the largest number of the arch bridges. Some bridges are very long and with several spans. And there is a very expensive bridge. System bridges is double, two bridges close. And there is a bridge is estimated in a, a very, very, very countryside in the area. It's very beautiful. And there are other bridges in all over the China. Exist all these timber arch covered bridge in 20th century. Ye Shu Yang Bridge in Taishan County, Zhejiang Province. Built in the Ming Dynasty, it's uh, 14, 1505, demolished in 1965 due to the construction of a new road, uh, 511 years old. And now, Zulong Bridge in Qingyuan is the oldest one now. The existing longest uh, timber arch covered bridge is Shantan Bridge in Taishan County. The young province. The next span is 42 mm, meter, uh, five meter longer than the Anji Bridge. When maybe some people know the Anji Bridge is a very famous stone arch bridge in Hebei province, the big stone bridge. The local people call it big stone bridge, Da Shi Qiao, Zhao Zhou Qiao. Yeah, it's this one. The Kimbo Arch Bridge is longer than this Sudo Arch Bridge. It's very interesting. But uh, unfortunately, it's also dis uh, destroyed in 1915 by flood. And now, Yangshi To Bridge and uh, Luan Feng Bridge in Shoulin County is the long longest bridge. The newest timber arch bridge, actually there are one of several new timber arch covered bridges that will be constructed every year in China. I don't know. Maybe the small one in America is the newest. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> yeah. This Zulong Bridge, Qingyuan County, uh, Zhejiang Province, built in Yin Ming Dynasty in 1625. Uh, it's 28.2 meters long, uh, 5.1 meter wide. Next span is 19.5 meter. Uh, this bridge is very interesting. There is a drummer pavilion and a bell pavilion like a temple. Yeah. But uh, this bridge is the oldest one now. The other side, the from far away, look at the bridge uh, with the villager. The drummer tower and the bell tower in the both sides of the bunker. Uh, this is Sandy sculpture of the Zulong Bridge. Uh, this uh, construction, this uh, drummer tower and uh, bell tower. The ex existing longest uh, timber arch covered bridge, Luan Feng Bridge in Shaolin County, built in 18 uh, centuries. 
It's a 47.6 meters long. And the latest span is 37.2 meters. The other longest bridge is Yangshi Tou Bridge in Seoul. It's also in Seoul County. It's Fujian Province. Built in 1967, uh, it's 15.5 meters long and uh, almost uh, five, uh, 5 meters wide. Next point is 13.56 meters wide. Uh, next point. This is the picture of the Luanfeng Bridge. The other side. The other bridge, Yangshi Tou Bridge. The other side, the manager, the Asian manager. Uh, there are uh, some bridges with a large, a large number of the arch. The one arm bridge in Pinan County in Fujian Province uh, with, with six spines, six arch. The building in 1932, and uh, its total length is almost 100, 100 meters. The max span is 15.3 meter. The mix span is only 10.6 meter. The other bridge with three spans, also in Pinan County, in Fujian Province. This one is built in 1820. Yeah. But this house is so light, so the picture is not so good. Actually, it's very beautiful. <laughs> uh, this is a long bridge with six arch. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and there is two temples in this side. Uh, and uh, in the middle, there is an island in the river. Uh, yeah, the other side. We can several piers. One, two, three, four, six, four, five. Uh, the interior of our uncovered bridge. Uh, actually, 10 years ago, I call this covered bridge is not covered bridge. I think maybe it should be launch bridge because the covered bridge is called by American people. Yeah, it's only a cover on the bridge. <laughs> but in China, it's different at all. It's not only a covered on bridge, because a lot of villagers, uh, both elders and the children, is uh, always sitting in the interior of the car, uh, the bridge, and uh, sometimes they will have a cup of tea. Sometimes some people share some something. The local. Uh, people and uh, some people play per card in the bridge. So we call it a long bridge, like a long. But uh, the long, it's the same personation of Chinese long chow. Yeah, the same personation. Yeah. But uh, American professor don't agree in my opinion. <laughs> so, yeah, we always, every two years, I will glider the 
Chinese long bridge uh, international meeting in China, and uh, I will uh, organize world over the world some uh, covered bridge experts, American, Europe, and uh, come to China and discussing everything about uh, the covered bridge, and uh, always call about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's different uh, culture. Mm. And we can find some elder and uh, children playing every every day. And uh, so this bridge to the villager, to the local people, is not only a bridge. It's not only for traffic. Mm. But uh, uh, in some in some time maybe it's uh, more important for communication and uh, have a rest yeah so this bridge is a very important part of the local people living are you saying it's a meeting place? no, I'm sorry are you saying it's a meeting place? Me? a place where people yeah people meet? yes, people yes, meet. yes. But you know, in south countryside of China, always rainy in the summer and the winter. So this covered bridge is very important place for the uh, meeting together. Yeah. But you know, in China, it's uh, very different with Europe. Uh, in Europe, every city, every town with many plots ground, but in China, it's no. So, the public uh, architecture next the bridge is very important for communicate for the local people. So the Chengchen Bridge with three spans, and there is a pagoda on the side of the river. Yeah. And we talk about the sister bridges over Dongxi Stream. One is Beijing Bridge, one is Xidong Bridge. This two bridges we call it sister bridge. The local people call it. It's uh, similar. But uh, it's also first built in Ming Dynasty uh, four and five hundred years ago, and they were built in Qing Dynasty, and now maybe two and three hundred years old. This Beijing Bridge, uh, with with two or three very ancient uh, trees, it's very bigger, uh, and uh, both sides of the bridge uh, with. Uh, two streets. Some people live in the streets and some people uh, as the street as the market. Yeah, you can uh, buy and sell something. And in the middle of the bridge, always as a small temple. Always a small temple. So there is uh, some religious scenes on the cover bridge. But a very interesting thing, I think uh, uh, only in China, the bridge with the temple is uh, unique. But uh, last year I went to Germany, and uh, there is a cover bridge, the long cover bridge is between Switzerland and uh, Germany. In the bridge, there are several garden sculptures also. But I want to ask the local people what they are. But then no, no one can tell me what they are. So I may be the same, situa same situation in China, but I don't know. But it's, uh, it's only maybe a sculpture. <laughs> maybe they are connecting with the religious. Yeah. But uh, in China, every covered bridge with a temple. Uh, and the the other important thing the sculpture should face to the water. Always this direction. 
they always face to the water. Maybe can can be country the water? Rise of sight, I don't know. <laughs> maybe this is the feng shui. Yeah, maybe. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's 2004. There is a big slow in this countryside. We slow. Mm. The other bridge, Shidong Bridge. The other side of the bank, there is a very old temple. It's a local temple. Also, we slow in winter. The isolated San Chao Bridge, it looks too nature and graceful. It, it is in perfect harmony with the nature. Uh, its structure is simple, clear, and logic. We look at this bridge between the two clippers. Uh, yeah, pedal. Rock. But this is also the element of the garden. Mm. It comes from nature. Yeah. yeah. Like this. The open timber has been structure of Santel Bridge. This uh, oven. The Sandy Sculpture of Santel Bridge. And look at the other bridges in all over China. It's most uh, uh, it's may uh, distribute production in south of China. This Xianji Bridge is also in Taishun County, Zhejiang Province. They built in early of Qin Dynasty. It's a very big one. It's uh, 41 points. 18.3 meter long. Wenxin Bridge, the other bridge in Taishan County. It's a bad eye. It's also Wenxin Bridge. Dasken Bridge in Jinling County, Zhejiang Province. Yinchuan Bridge in Jinling County. Uh, in the past time, there is no the arch stone bridge. It's only the Kimball arch bridge. But uh, there are some the small car. They can go through the bridge. No problem. <laughs> but uh, uh, the local people want to conserve, conserve vision of the bridge and, and then building a new stone bridge to take place uh, uh, check the car of the some trucks. The Meichong Bridge, Jinling County, but this bridge is destroyed by fire five years ago. But uh, this bridge is very important. Thirty years ago, the Chinese research found the first uh, arch bridge in this area, this one. So I suggest the local government should rebuild it because it is very important to the uh, research history. The Lanxi Bridge in Qingyuan County. Uh, last December, I acquired the, the first Chinese Lounge Bridge International Conference in this county in last December. It's only two months ago. Yes, yeah, also the Lunch Bridge. It's some different style. There is a war in the main edges. Yeah. And the Guangfu Bridge, Pinan County. Guangli Bridge. It's a brother bridge. 
is also called the vinegar. One is the aid, one is the, the head. It's, uh, some ancient villagers always two bridges. Some big villages with several bridges. Um, why have the roof? And then secondly, why block it off? Then this bridge here yeah. has no window at all. Good question, yeah. Uh, a lot of people ask me the same question, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think maybe different uh, capital, uh, capital system. Uh, some, but this area is very close. Cold. Yeah, it's very close. But the same situation, same the climate, uh, I don't know why they uh, use different uh, manner to build it. Maybe I think maybe different counter. Uh, they like it. Yeah. Maybe the owner like it. Yeah. But I like that it's open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But this one is a long long down bridge in Chongqing City, my hometown. Yeah. It's uh, uh, southwest of China. Uh, just to say, the world cover bridge is in southwest. Southeast of China, it's uh, east and west. Uh, the distance may be more than two thousand kilometers away, but uh, always distributing the cover bridge. Mm. The same situ same technology. Mm. Uh, this one is new. Uh, it's uh, the building in two thousand five. This, this new bridge uh, is my suggestion restore. I, the local government always want to build in some new bridge. I suggest you should restore some old bridge. Uh, you should according to the traditional building manner to build it. So they adapt my suggestion and uh, uh, invite a very old camper, maybe over 18 year old, and uh, he in charge of this project, and uh, it takes the it took the half one year and finished this bridge. And uh, at that time, the open ceremony we just uh, uh, organized the first uh, first time Chinese covered bridge international conference in this country. So they are waiting for us to visit him. It means uh, it's named Tongle Bridge, Taishan County, Zhejiang. The other side with the stream or stove and the pines. This is Chinese uh, painting. Uh, this Taifeng Bridge in Yunlong County, in Yunnan province, it's also come from far away, the southwest of China. It's close to Sichuan, Chongqing area. Uh, always have a lot of the arch bridge. Taifeng Bridge, the main entrance. So Chinese architecture is always with some Chinese culture. There is a lane with Chinese handwriting and the green. And uh, on the beans and the poster with Chinese painting, some covered bridge with the Chinese painting. Yeah, this bridge is very, mm, I don't know how, how to speak in English. <laughs> it's very cool. <laughs> yeah. This is also in Yunnan province. It's uh, very orangey. Uh, inter interior inside of the bridge. Mm. The other Tongjin bridge is also in Yunnan province. Jinzhou bridge in Pinnan County. This is a building uh, in 1948. 
the Red Army Bridge in Taishan County. But actually, this side is belong to Shoulin County. This side is Taishan County. So two counties are always discussing this bridge belongs to which county. <laughs> so every county in concrete the bridge is, is included. <laughs> so we concrete the total uh, number will be more one one more <laughs> because to both counties always think this bridge is belong there. So it's very interesting. I mean, it's a, a very beautiful site. It's a small bridge. It's a Huangshui Chang bridge in Qingyuan County. But there is a very interesting thing. I, I just said there is several counties with a lot of the covered bridge. So every county will competition for uh, which county has more covered bridge. Which counties the coverage is the longest with oldest? So this bridge is very interesting. It's lit span. It's not so long, but the house on the bridge is very long. <laughs> so the local government think the longest bridge should be it, but the other counties don't agree. It. <laughs> it's only. Only maybe 17 meter long, but uh, the house is more than 50 meter. Uh, this bridge is a very beautiful bridge in Gansu province. If somebody uh, went to Donghuang, Mo Gao Ku, you should go through this area. This bridge is very beautiful. My, uh, I have a good friend who is a professor in America, in United States. Uh, he wrote a book about Chinese bridge. With this bridge, uh, use this bridge as a cover. It's uh, very beautiful. This Baihe Bridge in Jinlin. Longtan Bridge, Jinling County. Hokan Bridge. Uh, actually, this bridge is rebuilt. The building in five years ago. And uh, 40, uh, it, it is fortunate. Uh, the restore of the bridge has won a prize of Asian Pacific. Uh, uh, heritage conservation. Uh, it's a very interesting thing. Xuezai Bridge in Taishan County. Zhangken Bridge, Shoulin. The Bai Ban Lu Ting Bridge, Qingyuan. Chen Shui Bridge in Taishan. And uh, I, I want to discuss in the wonderful structure of the bridge, how to make it. Uh, we just look, look at the bridge. Uh, actually, there is two different uh, structures. Uh, one is the woven timber arch bridge like the Bianhe Bridge, River Bridge. The other one is the Oven Timber Arch Beam Bridge. The other special structure of Timber Arch Long Bridge. Yeah, we can, we have a look at the first kind of the structure. We can, there is two systems. The right one is the three segment frames. The black one is the four segment frames. The two system is woven, and then form the arch construction. 
uh, at the same time, we need the transfer girders like this one. Like uh, Chinese uh, woven something. Uh, yeah, some structure assembly. This is a conserver. Yeah, and this one is uh, the woven first system and the second system is woven through the this one. Uh, this is a very popular in China in ancient uh, countryside. The villager use some something to 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 take some something. The the I don't know how to speak in English. The zhu lou bamboo. Uh, yes. The same making manner. Uh, yeah, it's very simple, but uh, it's uh, used into the bridge structure. It's very wonderful. But the other kind of the arch beam bridge, uh, it's also made by two systems. There is three sediment frays. It's a black line. It's a five sediment frames. Is a right one. Uh, just uh, the last uh, bridge is only four sediment. This one, but the second is changed five, eighty to one, one more. Yeah, this one is is eighty. So in this part, uh, in civil engineer we call it beam. It's not arch. Yeah, the professor is civil engineers, so he understand the uh, art <laughs> uh, So this is the two kind of the art bridge different. So we call it uh, arch beam bridge. This area maybe like the arch. So there's a sandy structure assembly of the arch beam bridge. Uh, we just see a lot of the covered bridge use this structure. How to make a timber arch covered bridge? Uh, generally, there is five steps. The first step, selecting bridge location. So we need some feng shui master they will find a good location for the bridge. But it's not emphasis the bridge situation. It's also about connecting the whole villager safety and uh, um, fortunate and something. So this is Chinese culture. It's very interesting, it's very mysterious. But sometimes it's really, it's really, uh, I don't know how to speak in English. It's very effective. Yes. Mm. For the communication, for the local The sec uh, second step is building bridge apartment. The third is cross bridge arch. The fourth is pumping bridge deck. The last step is erecting bridge house. Uh, generally five steps. Yeah, this is a clean sculpture. The first step, the feng shui master will select in bridge location. Yeah, in feng shui, the bridge is a very important element for the home feng shui model. Yeah, usually in the ancient village we showed in there is a in, in south of China there is a river will go through the village the side and at the aid of the villager there is a little bridge to uh, I don't know how to speak English uh, 叫, 
呃叫长风聚气观所这个，呀一次风水 story。Yeah. So that's the whole important thing. Mm. Yeah. Actually, it's like a gate of the whole villager. It's a very important element for feng shui. The second step is building bridge apartment. Usually, use the stove to make the apartment. Yeah, the building bridge apartment. Uh, uh, this photographer is uh, is a, a group table. It's uh, it's uh, according to the traditional manner to building a bridge, a arch bridge. The electric frame and the columns in the water, a kind of manual hosting. It's a different of the electric uh, hosting. It's a Chinese Asian town use the menu to hosting the temple and the other thing. Construction of Sanjie Miao. Sanjie Miao is local people sitting. It means the three sediment free of the structure. I just in last picture we, we talked about the three the first system. The three segment. And now, they uh, will do the horizon checking. Will keep the horizon after the bridge will be slow. Mm. Actually, we I just uh, show a bridge. It's it's uh, changed the horizon. <laughs> The, the one side is high, one side is is, is low. That that one is changed the form. Yeah. So this step is very important. And now they construction the Sanjie Miao, the this part, the middle of the beams, the set three segment free of the structure. And then set up Wu Jie Miao, the sixth system of five sediment frame of the structure. And now finish the timber arch frame, oven structure is finished. And now they want to look in the house over the bridge. This is a different uh, from China to Europe. Europe, the Hubble Bridge. Chinese Asian Bridge, Arch Bridge, is always divided by two parts. The below of these beams is the constructor, is the structure of the bridge. And uh, over the bridge is a house, it's only a house. But uh, in Europe, the Asian uh, Bridge, the structure with the house is the same thing. It's different from east and China and west. This is different. And now, having the bridge decks, they erecting the bridge house. The house. But some people will ask me. The timber arch bridge with the house is not good. Actually, it's very good for the arch. You you understand. But the, the arch should need some load put down. Otherwise, will be destroyed. So in the south area of China, with more rain, so we should need the, the wood, should need of the roof to protect it. At the same time, to load on the arch, the structure will be stronger than before. So sometimes I visited 10 years ago, I asked some of the local people, 
the local people told, told me a story. Sometime in the summer, the storm come here. The flood is very strong. So the local people were carry some heaven furniture, put down the bridge, and with some stove, very big stove, put down it, and can protect the bridge, uh, stop the flood. This is a very interesting thing. So this is the character of the arch bridge. So we use the stone uh, building an arch bridge is, is very uh, is very clear the logic. But uh, Chinese use the Kimbo uh, building an arch bridge should lead the more law on it. And uh, we use the roof to protect the rain and uh, can impose some people to stay here. Uh, some people communication and the cells and the bath something in the same bridge. Uh, it's a very wonderful idea. The concluder and the discussing. The first is the concluder. Bianhe Reborn Bridge exists in Song Dynasty and dis disappeared later due to the fading of Beijing. Reborn Bridge was the woven timber arch bridge. There are around 100 timber arch covered bridges in Zhejiang and the Fujian province of China. The structure are similar to Zibo Bridge. Timber arch covered bridges are woven timber arch beam bridge. The arch covered bridge in Zhejiang and Fujian province process tremendous amount of historic, cultural, technology, and economic significance and value. They are the trail of China and the cultural heritage of the world. Of course, uh, actually, in three years ago, the building the arch bridge, the technique. Uh, is is recorded in the list of the retangible in world heritage three years ago in by UNESCO organization. But we want to discuss in the relationship between Rebo Bridge and the Timbo Arch Covered Bridge. There is a assumption. One, the Zibong Bridge is the origin route, and the Timbo Arch Cover Bridge are its successor. The second, the Zibong Bridge and the legs, the Timbo Arch Cover Bridge are developed independently and concurrently. Of the former was the successor of the later, the different uh, opinion. Reason of assumption two, there exist hundreds of different kind of bridges in Zhejiang and Fujian province, from very simple beam bridges to complicated arch bridges. It seems that the Timbo arch covered bridges were developed gradually step by step in the local area. I will show a service pictures. A simple support beam bridge, like this one. Uh, this bridge is, a, is only collected in one county, in one county, in Taishun County. There are several types of them. The continuous beam bridge with pure, when the river is bigger, and uh, the one simple beam cannot uh, go through to both sides. So we use the pinner. This is a very simple technology. But sometimes the river is very deep, deep it's very big. So we use the, this one to support it. This is the third kind of the bridge. And now it's very interesting, we find the bridge it's a pre oven timber arch beam bridge. This bridge is not a oven timber arch beam bridge, but 
this one is similar to connecting the pinball art bridge with last one. That's that is a simple bridge. This is the middle, and and now this one is the art beam bridge. This one, when the second system from the five segment change to four segment like this one, they only use four segment as the second system. So we think this one is pre open pinball art beam bridge. Some local the children to play in the street, it's a, it's a toy, big toys for them. And uh, now the second, uh, the seven step is open timber art bridge. So this is my opinion, how to develop an involution of the bridge from one simple beam bridge to a covered bridge. Yeah. But the other kind of discussion, why the so big span of woven timber structure can reach at least 50 meters if it were applied a high with several thousand square meters floor space could be built without any colors. How great this would be. Structure plays an important role in the form of the architecture. Large stone shape architecture can be formed with the surface of arch connect along to the secure solution in the ancient Chinese architecture. However, the arch technology was never access to the, this application for over 900 years of history. What's the reason? My students use this bridge is the principle to win a prize in American competition, use the Timbal Arch Beam Bridge. Yeah. Amazing, thanks.